Uh, the issue, um, ever since I've owned out there, um, the, the comprehensive plan, which, which uh, we all agree is a, is a wonderful plan, mm -hmm. <clears throat> provides language that it's to be a guide and create a framework right. for the development of Green Old Road beginning about a year ago, because it gave a 10-year lapse on the first time it was passed. So, so beginning last year, we were to begin working on a, on a framework of development for the Green Old Road. That's because everyone recognizes that it is not a residential neighborhood. We've got an opportunity here to, to leave a legacy for the community. The property owners are on board with this, and we're unified. In, in wanting to push this down the field so that we can get something done and get, get out. And we can't do that under the current circumstances. So, uh, you know, you can have all the visions in the world, and I've got a lot of visions for this. I, 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 you know, I could do an artist's rendering of mm -hmm. what I vision this to look like, but the comprehensive plan also recognizes that this is going to be driven by market forces, not central planning. So I would like to see this committee come up with a recommendation to planning and zoning to create the framework so that we can move forward. And I don't know what's, what's going to come in, what the market forces will be that will come in, but we ought to have a, a, I don't know if the word is legal, but an enabling legislation, legislation yeah. that, will, that will provide for the vision to be realized. The pe my people suffer for a lack of vision. We need a vision mm -hmm. and we need to communicate that vision to the community and then begin the implementation process. If, if I can, one yeah. of the things that might be useful is to think in terms of an overlay district for that side, particularly for that side of, of uh, 98 because they're more residential on this side than the other side. Correct. And a, an overlay district so it all floats, if you want to say it that way. And then somebody comes in and looks at it and applies to bring down the use with that particular uh, provision within that ordinance. It gives you a lot of you flexibility. Have, you just have an overlay district done for the hospital, right? Yeah, that was all done out of pocket. That was all our effort just to, within our own planning department. Can, can that be a... a uh, Blueprint for well, it, it can be. We can extract certain things out of that overlay district. It it's nothing complicated about it. It's just you look at where all the properties are. You define your boundaries, and you say, okay, we're we're advertising this as an overlay district. So let me ask you something, Dick. If you have an overlay, and I I don't know the answer to this. If you create an overlay district, like I think Fred's talking about. It would not necessarily be for professional services, but might be for either recreational services or, yeah. uh, you know, if you want to create a village like you mentioned or something. Sure. Do you do that? As can you do that with an overlay district? You can or, because you have to look at the degree of development that's already in place. If you've got a wide variety of stuff like we have in Fairhope already within what's defined as that overlay district, you have to be looser on who can come in and who can't. If I, I think this question is a little more along the lines, correct me if I'm wrong. A district without any limit on purpose or a district that has a specific right. purpose, you can do either one. You try to steer it to fit what you're built with today. And, and you try to steer away from things that you don't want. Correct. You know, Correct. Not part of the permissible uses. For instance, if you've got disabled people in a building, you don't want to put a, a, a gas station within a... Uh, no, I understand that. But I mean, what I'm talking about is can you create an overlay district for a non-professional use and the answer I hear is yes. Yes. And then the next question is, okay, if we can create an overlay district for a non professional use, then what use do we decide that we want to create that? And well, that's, that's is, and Fred, I think that's that's your point. Yeah, that's that we need to get we need to start yeah getting in pointing in that direction to find out, okay, if we want to do that for and I'm just talking about that particular piece of property that 
that you're talking about, the 11 acres there. That's right. What do we what do we use that for? And then that begs the question, Bobby, of, of y'all's property in, on the other side. Yeah, the one where Ralph was talking about the pass uh, through the Planning um, Association, American Planning Association, we um, can give them research questions, and that's kind of what I'm hearing. So I may talk to Jonathan and see, like, with the theme, are there places that have done that? that right. yeah. We can ask them that kind of question, and they will give us. That's right. Don't questions. forget to pick Greg Mims's brain. Okay. Dick? Yes. So, does staff have time to look at other things that are successful? Like, I mean, the guys in Colonial Acres would love to see Rosemary Beach recreated across the street. A what we created? Rosemary Beach, Florida. Um, it's yeah. a mixed-use community, mostly residential, but with little common areas where they have restaurants and coffee shops and stuff like that. And Ferdinina Beach also. Yeah, all those places up and down 30A. Um, yeah, we looked at Seaside 12 years ago when right. I first joined the, this outfit. Mm -hmm. And Seaside had a lot of great ideas, I think but it's up for sale now. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's not necessarily a long-range success story. Sorry. It may have looked great in 1958, but not necessarily today. I was just curious, what kind of legal framework develops those places? Is it is it zoning? Is it your form-based zoning? Is it you know? Can we get some ideas, some research on how those kinds of things are done? Well, we may have to call in some consultants to touch to help us too. Uh, and, you but know, you, we raise all, a good, you raise a good point yeah. because if you don't have a framework that makes sense, the first time you develop a potential conversation, takes a look at it, it says, "I can't work in this environment. Wow. This is this is missing, or this is." Uh, uh, you can write a regulation that nobody can comply with. Yeah, wow. you got to keep it reasonable. Mm -hmm. But the guys across the street would love to see something nice done on that side of Greeno Road, uh, but they, as a, as a group, probably won't mm -hmm. support we're going to zone this such and such because right. then there's no control over what goes in there and they really don't want a Burger King on the corner 104 and right. No, we're trying to stay away from as many fast food places and gas stations as possible. 